Home learners, we are back and we have a four part story to finish. That's right, this is part four resolution of our Scratch Junior tutorial on how to narrate and write a story. Now, if you haven't seen part one, two, or three yet, you need to go and look at those because we're building this together step by step. So come along and let's take a look at part four, the resolution. Enter our app here, project one, and we have our first, second, and third slides. Now, uh, the first one is the, uh, the setup, right? The orientation, the who, the when, the where. Then we move to the slide two, and we talked about the events, like what kind of things are going to happen, and that's in the classroom. And then slide three, we just finished, which was the problem, the uh-oh, something happened, right? Now let's go back through each of these and we can play it as a video. So that way we're ready and we know exactly what's happening. Uh, just to look, make sure at your code down here at the bottom, slide one is going to end the last move with this red piece that says go to slide two. So it automatically does that when we play it. Then you get slide two, we need to have the last piece, which I believe is the, well, let's see. I'm not sure who's the last piece here. Let's reset it and find out. Okay, there's the teacher and she goes, there are the boys. Oh, it's not. I believe it is Drago, right? I should have known. Drago's the last piece. So let's go find Drago. And there he is. When he disappears, we're gonna add to that the move to slide three, which has a little picture of three, um, and that won't take us there. All right, so now we can go back to slide one, we can open up the big screen, and it should play all the way through. So we have our introduction here. Let's go to school, Drago. Okay, and he's super happy about that. I like that wiggle, wiggle, jump. And he pops out, he's invisible, and it moves over to slide three, uh, slide two at school. Oh, and Florence has to sit between the two naughty boys. One of them is Charlie, and Drago's hiding, but he's, he's watching. And then, look at that, they move right from there up to the table, dancing around, and give me back my pencil, Charlie. She's trying to get it, but he is playing tricks. No way. Rumble and roar, rumble and roar, and that's... Drago, of course, who is still invisible. So this is our setup. Very cool. When we come back and narrate this whole thing, it's gonna be neat. So as we did before, we need to come over to the right side and add the last slide by clicking on that button. Now we can get rid of this guy and we need to set our scene. So we're gonna be, again, background in the classroom. We'll open and put that up. And then we need to go from uh, the, the last scene, which is the two boys and Florence. So let's get them ready too. Let's see, there's Florence. And then we need our two boys. There's boy one. And there's Charlie. Now Drago is not visible in slide three, but Charlie is on the table. And we'll try to get him right there where he was last time. All I'm doing is looking at this right here, this picture. So Florence was jumping up and down. She's right here in the middle. All right, let's see. So oh, a little off, but not too bad. We're gonna move him down just a bit and down just a bit. And I can check it just by going to slide three and then back to slide two, uh, slide four. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm not too concerned because it'll start moving right away. Now, I did notice that our backgrounds changed. So we need to put back in our space town and we'll make the font a little lower and bring that down. And we also need to put in the second part, which is UOW18. Is it unit 18 or UOW18? I forgot. Oh, sorry, it's unit 18. Let's fix that unit 18 and we'll make that small. Boop. Okay, now that one's looking good. All right, so rumble and roar, rumble and roar. Charlie's gonna say, uh-oh. Now we can make uh, Drago show himself first. 
So let's bring Drago back in. We'll add him to the, our character list. And you know, he's facing the wrong direction, but if I hit the green start arrow and I put a little one piece, he turns right around and then I don't have to worry about it. And I can throw that away. All right, so first thing on start, we need Drago to show himself. Let's do that. Um, he's going to start, let's see, right here. Well, let's take him off this camera again, and then we'll move him in on start. So he's going to turn invisible. And we might not need to make him invisible and then reappear, but let's give it a try. So as I remember, we wanted him to go where he was before. So let's go back up to three and see. He was four to the left, four up. All right, so we're gonna do the same. Four to the left and four up. And he's invisible. So then we want to make him appear. And we can make him get bigger. I wonder what that would look like. What if we got him bigger? We made him like five, like super big. Should we see? All right, let's reset and we'll see. Go. So he comes up. Rah! Oh, he gets huge. That's kind of cool. I think we need him to go up a little higher, though. So let's make that a six, I think. Okay, so now while he's moving invisibly, where you can't see him, let's have Charlie say something. So Charlie heard the rumble and roar. So on start, Charlie needs to say something and let's let him uh maybe do a little like look around so we'll do maybe like that this way go left go right looking around and then he can say what was that <laughs> he doesn't know about charlie does he okay so let's see how big our dragon gets let's play it he's what was that and then rah, he gets so big. All right, I'm gonna put this in a loop. So I want him to look very fast twice. Uh, he's gonna do a little double take, two. Okay, now we have uh, Drago's right there. It's time for Drago to say something. So Drago, um, and we can take it right from the book, right? You can type whatever you wrote in your a story poster, but I said, just look here, boy. There we go, just like that, right from the book. Excellent. So he gets big, and the smoke comes out of his nose, and the fire in his eyes, and Charlie is going to be scared. So we're going to take this boy here, and we he's going to absolutely run away. We're going to get him out of there. I wonder which way we should go. If he goes this way, will he go in front of Charlie or in front of uh, everybody, in front of the dragon or behind? Maybe he should just fall over. That would be funny. Let's do that. So just look here, boy. And now we're gonna send that envelope because once Drago's done talking, Charlie needs to do something and so does this boy. So let's send a message. It'll be orange because it's our first one. And then we'll go to this boy first. So he's gonna open. So he won't do anything until he opens this letter. And when he does, uh, let's make him fall down. He's going to go, oh no. He's gonna do a little jump, a little hop, and he's gonna fall down. And let's see which way that goes. And I think if I do six, he should do halfway. And then I'll have him just disappear. Let's see. Oh, that's completely, that's too many. Six is all the way around, upside down. That's too many. Let's do three. I think three is better. And, oop, ah, there you go. And he needs to fall down. He jumped, but then he's kind of hanging there in the middle of the air. So he needs to go down one. All right, let's try that. Oh, I need to reset him first. Yeah, there we go. One, two. Okay, we'll bring him down too. All right, he's gone. And what are we gonna do with Charlie? What should Charlie do? Let's click on him. Um, hmm. He needs to wait a minute while after he talks. Oh, I'm sorry. We don't. He needs to open the envelope. 
There we are. Now he's going to open the envelope after Drago speaks. And maybe he should. He can talk and then just like jump all the way to the ceiling. Like he's so scared. Let's try that. First, he's got to say something. And we can do. Ah! So he is afraid. And then he's going to go way up. Uh, let's see, and not come down. So we're gonna, actually, we're gonna make him jump real fast. We're gonna speed him up. That's this button right here in the orange. And you can click on the arrow and make him real fast. And he's gonna go boing. He's gonna launch. Let's see, let's make it, uh, should we go all the way through? Let's try not to go all the way past. Let's start with seven and see what that looks like. All right, I'm gonna click on here. He goes, ah, and choo. See, he goes up too far. So we'll do maybe a five and an and invisible. Or should we make him flip around, right? And we said that six goes upside down and we'll come back down five. Oh, wow. Let's see how that looks. Poor Charlie. He's afraid. Yeah, <laughs> punk. I don't know. That's a little much. I feel like I'm being mean to Charlie now. Um, but it is funny. Up, down, boom. Oh, we want to spin them the other way. It makes more sense the other way. Three. And uh, let's see here. Let's take them down six. All right. Should we check it out? Oh, jump, spin, boom. And then he should disappear too. Poor Charlie. We hardly knew ye. Okay, and there you go. Now, finally... It's, I believe, um, Florence has got to say something, right? Because Florence is like, she's pretty happy that Drago stepped in. So let's go ahead and send another message here. And we'll make this one red. And that goes to Florence. And let's make sure that I put this where you can see it. There we go. All right, now you can see. It. We're putting the red message here after the invisibility. And Florence is going to get that red message. Open it up. She hasn't done anything yet, so she'll wait until this. And then she's got she's to do a little jump. And we'll make it just a small number one. And maybe we'll just put in two. And then she can say something like, thank you, Drago. And she's happy again. And that could be the end. Jump, jump. Thank you, Drago. All right, let's reset and take a look at this. Here we go. What was that? Just look here, boy. Ah, thunk. Thank you, Drago. And Charlie was gone. Okay, I think that works pretty well. I don't know why Charlie just disappears from the table, but I, I don't see him zooming off to the, to the side, really. Uh, that looks pretty good. And Drago, um, do you think Drago wants to say anything at the very end? I think we're probably done. I think that's a good the end. Yeah. And then you can narrate the rumble and roar song uh, where everyone can see me. Okay, there it is, our four-part story. Thank you for joining me for this four-part. Uh, now, there's going to be one bonus part where after we go ahead and write our story... We need to come back to this and narrate it. So now that we have our storyboard, we have decided what we want it to look like. Now we've gone into Scratch Junior and we put it all together and probably made some changes too, but that's okay. Now we'll go and we'll write it. And that will be the part we'll do together in class. And once we're done writing, we'll come back to Scratch Junior and we'll add in the narration button. So we'll read it and it'll be really neat. So what a fun project. To finish it off, I will start it from the very beginning, and we can watch it together. Here we go. Let's go to school, Drago. Okay. I can hide myself. Please sit down, class. You boys are naughty. They are very naughty boys.
Give me back my pencil, Charlie. No way. Rumble and roar, rumble and roar. Oh, you know what I forgot? Oops, I forgot to put on the three transitions to four. I can do that now. So I'll go ahead and put that four right here on the rumble and roar. There we go. And then it'll go on to number four. Okay, now we're good. What was that? Just look here, boy. Ah. Thunk. Thank you, Drago. The end. Wow, very fun. Okay. Hey, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. I know it'll all be very different, and we will take a look at the narration next time. Thanks for joining me. Goodbye.